Hi, I'm Christine and I'm with adopt a -Pond, and we're here in the Rouge National Urban Park tracking Blanding's turtles. So Nash here has radio telemetry gear that he's using to tune in to little transmitters that are attached to the back of Blanding's turtles that are head starts that we released here. So the turtles have a little transmitter attached to the back of their shell and we tune in to their specific radio frequency using this receiver which is attached to an antenna which amplifies the signal in order for us to find the turtles. So we pinpoint these turtles and we take down their location info, any sort of habitat description like the vegetation that's surrounding us, as well as uh, if they're in the water, on land, submerged, their behavior, uh, any sort of information that indicates their location and kind of what they're doing uh, in this point in time. It can later help us with overwintering habitat, which habitats they're using throughout the wetland, uh, and lots of important information to suggest uh, how they're doing after we have released them. As well, once a month, we catch these turtles and we take measurements, including their weight and measurements of the lengths of their shells to see how well they're growing over time, as well as checking in for any sort of secondary sex characteristics to see once they reach a point of time of maturity. Right now, our turtles, um, this will be our 10th year releases this year, so our turtles will be upwards of 12 years, but um, a lot of landing turtles, the females in particular, do not sexually mature until 18 to 25 years of age. So we still have many years, but uh, we will be working and watching over time to see when these juveniles become